Hi Dad. We wanted to put together a little video to celebrate the last 80 years of your life and also to just thank you and celebrate you. Um, you are an incredibly thoughtful and kind person who we really appreciate and hopefully this video will bring up some awesome memories and lots of smiles, maybe a few tears, we'll see. Enjoy. birthday, Jerry. I can't believe it's been 40 years since the Lordy Lordy Jerry's 40 Ain't It Nifty Richie's 50 party. I'm going to read this because I don't want to forget anything. So I wish my dad was here to help you celebrate like he did 40 years ago, but I'm pretty sure he and mom are here in spirit celebrating right along with all of us. A lot has happened in the last 40 years since your last big party. Weddings, awesome grandkids, and like any machine that runs as hard as you do, a couple of tune-ups on the old chassis. You're a great person, neighbor, and godfather. Thank you for always being there to lend a helping hand or just chat in the yard. One of my favorite memories 
was our road trip to Keene to bring Nicole back home from college. We looked like the Beverly Hillbillies in that overfull truck, but we did it. And we're still here to talk about it. So let's celebrate again when you turn 90. I hope you have a great birthday. Love, Nick and Cindy.
bought our first house, grandpa got us everything. Tools, weed whackers, workbench, storage cabinet, lawnmowers, a trailer, a wheelbarrow, and then they even stuck around to help clean up the yard. What more can you ask for? Grandpa loves his leaf blowers, let me tell you. could talk me through a repair like this over the phone. Boom! Got it. Last April, we found out that your heart was in need of repair. This prognosis really put our lives in perspective. It was a long wait for the day of the surgery, but the night before, I'll never forget. We all got together, just our family, and stayed overnight. It was a really special time for us. This photo means a lot to me. I took it as we were about to get into the car to go to the hospital. In true fashion, you were talking about moving a wood pile, not the huge event about to unfold that day. You can see mom in the background exuding love and deep concern for your long journey ahead. Dropping you off, we all put on a brave face, although you can see in our eyes that we are not hiding our feelings that, all that well. We spent the day passing time the best we could, keeping busy, working on a puzzle, I even made a few arrowheads, one of which is still in your garden that you haven't found yet. 
We putzed around in the garden, watering tomatoes, pulling weeds, keeping it up to your high standards while you were away. We waited and waited for the call that day from the doctor. And finally when it came, I remember mom putting it on speakerphone. We all rushed to the kitchen and it was the doctor telling us the surgery went great. We were so happy to hear that and could not wait to see you the next day. Although you had obviously been through a lot, you still managed to joke around, reassuring us that everything was going to be okay. The weeks after your surgery, you stayed strong and pushed through every obstacle of your recovery. We could not be more proud of you. We are so happy to be here to celebrate your 80th birthday with you and looking forward to many more to come. A few more people that couldn't be here wanted to say a little something, so here it goes. Happy birthday, Uncle, Uncle Jerry. Jerry! From Matt, Rosa, and Emily. Yay. Yay! We wanted to wish you a very beautiful birthday, and uh, we wanted to bring up uh, one memory I had. Um, it, it was a great time. You were working on your garage, uh, redoing the walls, and uh, one of the things that we, we had a big metal uh, can in the driveway and, and there was a fire in it and we were watching the fire and talking and things like that. And the other thing I remember is going into the garage and you had a beautiful collection of the old oil cans and the oil filters and pourers and things of that nature. And I just thought that was a great collection. So anyway, we're wishing you a happy birthday and hope you have a great day. So, yay! Happy birthday! Hi, Uncle Jerry. We wanted to wish you a wonderful, happy 80th birthday. Love, Lori, George, and Neo. Hi, Grandpa. Um, I just wanted to first start off by saying that I am so sorry that I'm not with you and with everyone else. Um, if I'm not there already, I am on my way to Washington, D.C. for um, my game this weekend. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and tell you how much I love you and how thankful and grateful I am to have you as a grandfather. Um, there are no words to describe how much I appreciate everything you do for not only me, but for everyone else in this family. You are seriously the most loving, selfless person in this whole world. And you will drop anything in an instant to help anybody. Um, I have learned so much from you. You seriously have taught me more than I could ever imagine. Rather it be life or putting windshield wiper fluid in mom's car. Because if it weren't for you, there would be no windshield wiper fluid in mom's car still because I go through that every two weeks <laughs> but um I seriously couldn't have wished for a better grandfather you mean the absolute world to me and I wouldn't I wouldn't want anyone else to look up to as a grandfather Sorry, trying really hard not to cry. <laughs> um, but I love you so much and I wish I was there celebrating with you and everyone right now. Um, but I also just wanted to say thank you again for all the support that you've given me throughout the years with soccer and school and just and especially this year, seeing you and, and grandma up in the stands at every single one of my home games, it just, it means more than you'll ever know. 
Um, but again, I love you so much and happy birthday. And I, again, really wish I was there right now with you guys, but <sighs> but just thank you so much.